Well, a dog is a big commitment, as my kids will tell you. So it's important to do your homework and make sure you're choosing the right breed if you're looking to add a four-legged friend to your family. So here to tell us about an event that can help you do just that is Brandy Hunter Munden from AKC. Hi, Brandy. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm great. So tell me about AKC Meet the Breeds. So we like to call AKC Meet the Breeds a canine education extravaganza. It is completely hands-on. There are hundreds of dogs there, and you can meet and play with a bunch of dogs, talk to some experts, and find out what breed might be right for you and your family, whether as a new dog owner or if you're adding one to the family because you have one at home, we can help. Oh yeah, my husband is, is ready to add another one to the family, but I'm not so sure. <laughs> now, what are some mistakes that people make when selecting a dog? Not assessing your lifestyle is a number one mistake that people make. You wanna make sure that you actually have the time, space, and energy for dogs because they are not extremely self-sufficient. They need you for feeding, they need you for walking, they need you for stimulation, they need you for exercise. So you wanna make sure that you have room in all that you're doing to have a dog in your life. And some breeds require more than others. So you wanna make sure that you're looking for the right breed. Yeah, I think of a dog as a baby that never grows up. You will always have to come home and take him out to do his business. You'll always have to help feed him. It's not like a cat. I kind of secretly wish I was a cat person because they're a little <laughs> bit lower maintenance, but I just love dogs. They're so sweet and they're such good friends. Now, at this event, people will actually get a chance to interact and play with these different dog breeds. What should we be looking for? You should be looking for size. Size is extremely important. So if you have a um dog that you know a space is not so big and you want something a little bit smaller you want to look for that you want to look for temperament temperament is extremely important you want to make sure that it's a dog that doesn't really have too much energy if you're not a high energy person or doesn't have too low energy if you like to go hiking some dogs are better on the couch <laughs> than they are on a trail and you want to look for just the basics of what it takes to care for a dog specifically the kind of dog that you want what are the grooming what is the temperament what's the exercise requirement what's the mental stimulation requirement all of those things are really important because it helps you adjust to your dog and your dog adjust to you when you bring it home tell me more about the energy level some dogs really like to run, jump, go, herd, all of the things. You have a mini Australian Shepherd, they're going to want to go everywhere with you. A Lab, a Golden, those are really great breeds. Even a Corgi's got a lot of power to them. A lot of people don't realize that. So they're really good energy dogs. And that might be a lot for you because they require a certain amount of stimulation to not be destructive and to be happy. So you wanna make sure that if you're trying to figure that out, if you're more of a couch potato and love a little Netflix and chill, you're looking more like a English toy, Spaniel, French bulldog type, as opposed to a German shepherd or a lab or a pointer that really wants to just go, go, go and be out there. So you wanna make sure that when you're looking at temperament, part of it is how much stimulation they need because you don't want a grumpy pup. No, you don't want a grumpy pup and you don't want a grumpy dog mom or dad. We have a Cocker Spaniel at home. And last weekend we dog sat for our neighbor's uh, mix, mixed breed small mm -hmm. dog. And my dog was like, who is this guy? He had so much energy, part chihuahua, part who knows what. But yeah. my dog was not prepared to match that level <laughs> of energy. So for people with an, a first dog or kids or other considerations, what should they be thinking about as they possibly add maybe a second or third dog to the family? You wanna look for a dog with a pretty mild temp temperament that's highly adaptable. That's why the Lab is the number one breed in the country and has been for a very long time. Super adaptable dog, Goldens, dogs that do well with that high energy that kids might bring to it. Every dog is not necessarily engaged in that specifically, despite what movies and TV might tell you. Some of them are like, nope, that's not really for me. That's not what I wanna do. And others really just want to be laid on and you know they want to be near their owner all the time. All all dogs are extremely loyal, but you want to make sure that when you're looking at it, you're looking at something that's good, especially if you have younger kids, because younger kids are still learning boundaries. So you want a dog that's not going to snap or, you know, necessarily take that as a sign of aggression. And some dogs do do that. That doesn't make them any bad or any worse. It just means they're better in a household without kids than maybe a golden would be. So you want to make sure you're doing that assessment when you're adding a dog to your lifestyle.
all great points to keep in mind. Brandy Hunter Munden from AKC Meet the Breed, thank you so much. It really is a big decision to add a dog to your family. And that event happens April 23rd and 24th at the Tampa Convention Center.